end the war? Who cares? Come on, back to the temperance. Finally, chance to get acquainted. Like I said, the name's Gunny. Stay sharp, keep your nose clean, and we'll be off to a good start. We had calm blackouts like this right before the Empire invaded Mimban. Lost a lot of friends. But I learned to shoot a blaster. You'll be flying with Frisk and Grace today. Meet them if you haven't. The best advice I can give you. <laughs> Ash, the speech is start. Then those rumors about a secret project are true. The only people in the galaxy who don't have a death mark on you. Grace Salia Vitara Sina. Grace, if you like. It's a pleasure. I've been with Vanguard long enough for Gunny to trust me with second position. And she doesn't trust easily. Especially those from Imperial families. Well, everyone finds out sooner or later. Yes, unfortunately. Well, do you want to race home, Friss? We might make it before his speech ends. The key to victory. Oh, hey, I'm Kyo Venzi. Welcome to Vanguard Squadron. You'll do great things with us. Trust me. This is an amazing team. I went from semi-pro racing to fighting the Empire. Quite a change. But everyone in Vanguard lifts up the others. You'll fit right in. Whatever this Project Starhawk is, I suppose the commanders will tell us when they're ready. Chasing our tails for hours, and now we're late to meet the new bomb. I ain't racing you. I learned my lesson the first 12 times. I like to know who I'm working for. Ah, Grace. The day ain't over yet. <sighs> only Grace calls me by my real name, and only when she's mad. <laughs> I know it's not often you find a handsome fella like me fighting for the Rebellion, or uh, New Republic, or whatever we are now. When I left the Empire, I tried to leave behind their views on morality and certainty. The core of Imperial doctrine is being certain that what you're doing is right. Doubt is seen as disloyalty. Now I understand that you have to look at your decisions with a clear heart and ask what more you could do, should do. For those who lead, doubt is necessary. The Starhawk Project represents hope for an entire... The kind of posting that used to end careers before Endor, before Lyndon Javes reappeared. No doubt you've heard. Admiral Sloan has instructed me to hunt that traitor down and end this Project Starhawk. It seemed fitting that I bring you back to help me destroy Linden. Your Empire needs you, pilot. Are you willing? A simple in and out mission should be painless for us, but stay on your toes. You never know what cheap tricks the Rebels will pull. De Severo. Hmm. Long way from civilization. I haven't seen the Outer Rim since the insurrection at Krigo. Well, let's get to it then. Get to your tie. I've already reviewed your service record. It's been a long time since you were on the front lines. In days past, a mission like ours would have been afforded every possible resource. Unfortunately, times are tight since Endor. In one battle, we lost our Emperor and gained a hundred warring factions. <sighs> if only Emperor Palpatine hadn't dissolved the Imperial Senate. At least then, Senators, like my- You're the new arrival. I'm Havina Vonreg. Titan can always use another pilot, so long as you're good at killing rebels. We're going right into their territory, Hosnian Prime. We'll give those scum just a taste of what it was like at Endor. I was there, you know, when the Rebellion murdered our Emperor. Half my squad died trying to defend him. Captain Carroll understands. She doesn't lecture me about justifiable force like my other- Welcome to Titan. Call me Shen. Before you ask, helmet stays on, cockpit or not. Too many hard landings. Broken neck. Five, six times. Cybernetics keep me going. Fight. Fall. Get up. Fight again. All for the Empire. Advice. <clears throat> Indeed. Marvelous work, securing Agent Thorne. You've exceeded your previous statistics by... Oh. 
Forgive me. I'm so familiar with your profile that I forgot we haven't actually met. I'm LT-514, Imperial Intelligence. I'm eager to analyze your performance in the upcoming mission. You're certain he won't interfere. My records indicate that Captain Amos is trigger-happy, to say the least. His if Lyndon's right, this plan could knock Teresa Carroll off our tail. The sooner the better, if you ask me. Lyndon's convinced himself that he's put us in danger. <sighs> they can't make him focus on the bigger picture while Teresa's still in it. The commander's a smart man, but everyone has someone who can push their buttons. I wonder if we can push hers, too. We'll give Teresa a harmless con- We're able to evacuate all personnel from the Starhawk. Engineers, technicians, mechanics. We took a big loss today. Those who died at Nadiri. Lyndon. It won't be in vain. So long as we survive, so does Project Starhawk. And with it, the future of the New Republic. Fortunately, the Imperials didn't seize control of Nadiri. They were too busy chasing us off. I've already sent Meteor and Hail Squadrons to secure the dockyard. The introduction. But Talus Group was counting on me to get reinforcements first. Your commander says you have talent. Enough to steal a Star Destroyer and get away with it. Normally, I'd have Rogue Squadron for this. But General Sindula gave me a temporary assignment to Project Starhawk. Meanwhile, Rogue is handling... Well, that's classified too. General Sindula keeps us busy. Your commander and I have something in common. I once flew for the M. Ah, there you are. Ardo said to expect you. I'm Zarel the Sage, Chief Mechanic, and this here's the Temperance, my pride and joy. I imagine you're excited to join the action. You're joining one of the best outfits in the New Republic. Hope you can live up to it. Anyway, follow them into the briefing room. I think our new commander's waiting for you in there. Sergeant Waite, Chief Mechanic and Head of the Hangar Crew. I don't see the appeal in flying myself, but I've been working on ties since they rolled off the assembly line. Your fight is in good hands. The Overseer saw some action at Pothor and JL, but it's had a complete inspection and overhaul for this mission, Admiral Sloan's orders. And on my orders, every tie in this hangar has been serviced and test flown. Tighten half the rivets myself. We're ready. Gotta say. An old enemy has finally surfaced. One of my spies has linked the attacks on our Star Destroyers with the New Republic Starhawk Project. A common factor is Lyndon Javes. You knew Javes better than anyone, Captain Carroll. Then this is your second chance. The Rebels are keeping a low profile. Take Titan Squadron, hunt down this Starhawk, and eliminate it. Gladly. The Emperor assigned me to this depot. I decide how its resources are used. As of this moment, that includes your Star Destroyer. Consider yourself reassigned. Admiral Sloan isn't here, Captain. I have rebel guerrillas to deal with. And now, so do you. Grom out. We all choose our path. Light or dark. Freedom or destruction. The Empire chose to destroy Alderaan in order to spread fear and douse the fires of rebellion. But the heroic pilots of the Rebel Alliance have chosen to keep fighting, to show the Empire that we are not afraid. It was their bravery that ended Palpatine's reign and brought about our new Republic. Alderaan shows destruction. They incited rebellion and anarchy and paid the price. The survivors continue to spread dissent.